to ask you a few questions about your book, Paged. Um, can you tell us a bit more about your artistic process, creating it, and did you always have a, picture, a, a wordless picture book in mind when you started? What I had to work out was how I was going to, to trap the two rogues um, at the end. Yeah. So the first thing I had to do was to sort of think about a building shape that would allow me to have the cupola on the top and also something that, that I knew how it would be constructed yeah. and something that would grow gradually and then collapse out. So that, that took quite a while to work yeah. out how to do that. I wanted to know what, what inspires your work um, and what do you think all picture books should have? Well, I think all picture books should have a message. I knew the birds had to be colourful and I knew, yeah. that, I knew I was going to limit the colour to, yes, to yeah. the birds. And, and the bluebird was, was a bit late in coming in with the bluebird, right. but I thought that was really quite an important part. And some people advised me to take the bluebird out. But someone suggested that you should do, you should do a construction that that um, goes up and collapses for some reason or another, right, okay. and because that, that's always exciting, <laughs> and and build something that builds up gradually, mm -hmm. and then you can always do you can do the opposite where. Um, like you have something big and bits fall off or you take bits mm. off and, and you completely reverse the story. So I did, I did think about that for a bit, but uh, I haven't got around to doing that one yet. That's nice.